Hello guys and welcome back to Gemini Gamer. So this is a new KSP news show. This is week number 12. And this week we have a lot of development news. Uh, not compared to last week because last week there was a release. So anyway, if you're enjoying the show, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share all that stuff. Make sure everyone knows about it so that everyone can catch up with KSP. I know there's a lot of players that haven't played the game in a while. So hopefully you can get their interest back and hopefully they want to play again. By watching the show, at least. So hopefully I can take part in that. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get into the development news. So as you know, uh, Kerbal Space Program Enhanced Edition for the console was released last week. Last Tuesday. So uh, as you know, there's a lot of criticism from the players. There's a lot of uh, a lot of bugs. But that's expected because it's a new release. So, you know, it's natural for that to be happening. And uh, surprisingly, there's a new patch coming out. So, you know, that's going to solve a couple of the major bugs. Probably not all of them, but it's going to solve a couple. And hopefully that makes the game a little more playable. I know, I know it's better than last time, but it's still not good. So, you know, hopefully this new patch fixes all that. And, uh, if you know, if you have, like, a specific bug you want to get fixed, make sure to report it to the bug report thing. I, I don't know where that is. If there's a website, I try to click on the link in the development blog, but it didn't take me anywhere so hopefully I find where that is and I'll leave a link below if I can but if not then uh, oh well so hopefully it gets fixed either way but uh, anyway that's pretty much it for that uh, I don't have I don't own that game I don't own I don't own the console game so I don't I can't really tell you anything what's going on on my personal opinion on that but you know pretty much uh, I think it's good that they're getting you know updates and stuff now so that's all right uh, part of the promises before that they were gonna, you know, support the game, the last developers, but that didn't happen, so hopefully this time it goes a little bit better and this is not the last patch you'll see. But anyway, let's move on to the Making History expansion for the uh, PC. So, uh, a lot of work has been done on making the expansion compatible with mods, so, you know, the, the developers want us to know that they're gonna continue to uh, support the modding community a lot, you know, as much as they've been doing for the lab past couple since you know basically since the game came out so they wanted the mods to keep continue to be made especially for the expansion because honestly the only real reason most people play Kerbal at this point is because of the mods so uh, yeah uh, hopefully you know they are telling us the truth usually some developers uh, tell they're gonna be oh we want mods or to the game and stuff like that and they usually uh, end up adding a couple restrictions when they say that so we'll see how it goes hopefully it's still very uh, good for people to make mods easy and I want to get into it so you know if you want me to please leave a comment down below I'll probably uh, teach you a little bit out about that I had a little bit of experience but anyway uh, they continued to work on the missions some stock missions which means that there's gonna be new tutorial missions in the game hopefully this helps out people to learn how to play a little bit better and helps solve the huge learning curve that people have in the game and again if you're having trouble playing the game uh, make sure to watch my uh, how to play KSP for dummies series basically I teach you how to play the game and basic stuff like that docking orbiting flying rockets construction rock constructing rockets stuff like that. something simple in the modern game uh, there hasn't been one for this version of the game so that's why I made that one hopefully you guys enjoy that so anyway they continue to talk about new nodes uh, the major ones is a new camera node. Basically, it's going to be a node where uh, once you pass through a specific point in the mission, uh, a cutscene happens. That's all really cool stuff right there, because that's going to mean there's going to be like actual like story mode and stuff like that. So, you know, it's uh, not too bad. Not too bad. It's all good. It's all good. Um, and, you know, it's going to be maybe a good tool for cinematics. It's been a while since cinematics have been a big deal in KSP. Hopefully this brings them back. Especially since you're able to do it yourself in missions. So hopefully that helps out a little bit. Uh, velocity node, just the target velocity. Very straightforward. Cre create a flag node. Um, straightforward. Just plant a flag. Uh, test vis vessel distance node. So that's basically just a test on a relative distance between your base pod and another space ship, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, just missions where you have to like get close to a ship but not dock with them. Basically, that's what that is, like within one kilometer. And then maybe you have to jump a Kerbal out and transfer to your ship. I don't know. So anyway, they talked about new parts today. 
So good stuff, good stuff. There's a new part. Uh, there's a there's gonna be a well, mostly just a couple parts, but you know, very 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 significant nonetheless. They didn't specify if this is gonna be for the making history expansion or expansion or or for the 1.4 expansion, but probably it'll be for the making history expansion because they didn't state they would be free. But maybe they will. I don't know. But anyway. Uh, they'll be displayed on the screen right now. There are engine plates. New engine plates. And that brings new clusters of engines. Uh, the new engine plates will come in between in sizes between 1.875 and 5 meters. Again, there's going to be 5 meter parts. They haven't really shown any of them. But uh, the other is going to be some. So basically, these are going to replace the old engine cluster things. Where you could put uh, 4 uh, 1.25 engine size engines on it. Uh, very, very um, restricting on what you could do. So, in this one, you're going to be basically able to pick between many different node configurations, uh, probably through something similar to part switch. Um, the place will have a low mass, so they won't really restrict on how many of them you can have. You can basically have bun a bunch of them, basically, just to keep the game balanced. You know, I'm pretty sure they were just being lazy and they were like, ah, I don't want to actually code these, so I'm just going to give them like a very low uh, mass. So, that's all good. It, it keeps your rockets usable, I guess, if you had like an ugly part where uh, you had like five uh, little rockets sticking out at the bottom uh, without any real, like, you know, nothing looking good down there. Make sure you know, this is going to make good things happen with that. So hopefully that happens. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, the, as you can see, there's going to be, they showed three, but there's going to be at least four sizes. Yeah, three or four sizes. So that's all good stuff. And uh, they're going to have similar behavior to how decouplers work. You know, when you place a decoupler under an engine, the shout happens. So that's going to still be a thing, but it's just going to be a big shout, shouting all the way around the whole new plate. So, yeah, you're going to be able to build a lot more slim-looking rockets, more straightforward rockets, decent-looking rockets. So it's all good stuff. It's going to really help with the, you know, the signing and the rocket thing. Um, so yeah, guys, this is pretty much it for all the development news this week. It was a lot of stuff, but we got through it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, go check out the other KSP stuff in my channel. And if you're interested, Hearts of Iron 4 too, there's a lot of stuff going on with that. And other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.